Goats are loaded up and we're going to the property. We're about to start working even more on the house. I'm so excited. So much work and dad's here, so I'm gonna totally take advantage of his muscles and his yard work skills. Not even an hour into being here and walking the property, dad is already like, let's throw the goats in this pasture. So right now we're cleaning the skate up and clearing it of the vines and clipping some trees so we can throw the goats in this pasture. So we're moving the goats over here. Well, the boys right now, they can clean the stuff up and enjoy all of it and get them set for the night. Say hi, dad. Hello. <laughs> he's pretending like he's been working this whole entire time. We just got here. <laughs> no. Jackie's pulling her Jeep up so we can grab the goats and move Zeusy and Creamy over there. This is gonna be so Nice to them, they'll love it, and hopefully the mamas have their babies sooner than later. But here Jackie comes. Zeus, you ready to move over to the new place? Look, he's like, oh yeah, he loves the car. are loaded up and we're going to the property. Dad's been clearing the fence. Look, Zeus is laying down. I know, they like going for a ride for some weird reason. <laughs> Working at the house. Got trained. I just left Jackie with the goats in the car by yeah, herself. Leave me with two goats. She's gonna jump on me. <laughs> I was like, I should probably drive my vehicle too. Poor Jackie. The things we do at this farm. All right, we're back at my house. I gotta wait for Jackie. But they're going in that pasture over there. I have a leash. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I think I have well, two actually. I got, um, two I got two seats horn. She said. Come on, come see your new home. Oh, Here, you do this and I'll. Here, I'll oh, Creamy listens oh, pretty well. Come on, baby. <laughs> come on, baby. You guys are gonna love this. Come on, Cream, this way, Creamer. Look, they're gonna love this. For the next 48 hours, we'll keep them in this pasture for a little bit. But more work we have since dad's been in town within an hour. They've been just snacking away. Look at that little thief. Dad literally just gotten down and he's like, let me just see if the tractor turns up. He goes, this is a really good deal we got for it. He's all excited. His face, I wish I would have got it on film. Look at dad and his tractor. He is so happy. Look at that man's face, how excited. <laughs> Yay! There you go. Woo! I was like, dad, I want to go slower. Okay, yes, second gear. Okay. Shut this off every time getting into that Okay. Shut it off. Alright, cool. So I cleaned Dad's seat off. Okay. Okay. Put on no. the clutch. Push it in. And you're gonna release that slowly. Okay. When I turn it on? You can turn it on. The clutch always has to be in. Your gas pedal step on it. That's okay. your brakes. Nope, those are your brakes. 
So which one do I step? Because the little, the little one on the side. Oh, okay. That's when you want to go faster. You step on that. So now what am I doing? Okay. Keep your clutch all the way in. Now put it into put it in the first gear if you want. So first or here? First or second, whichever one. Yeah, just okay. follow your gear pattern. Okay. Now what? Let your clutch out easy and step on the gas a little bit. Okay. Where are we going? Where do I go? Going to Jackie. How do I go faster? Hit your gas pedal. Slow. No, okay, now push your clutch in. Put the gas on? Push your clutch in. No, don't worry. Push your clutch in. Okay. Okay. You could switch to your fourth gear. Follow oh, your... that's fast. No, it's not. Push so... all the way over. See? That's your gear pattern over this way. Okay. okay and then okay. pull it back up to you. Now, with the clutch on? With the cl clutch. Oh, you got to stay on. Is it hard to pull in? No, it should go nice and easy. Clutch all the way in? Yeah. Very should be very simple. We're in fourth. You're in fourth. Let go. Same way again. Let go the clutch. clutch and gas. Anytime you want to stop, how do I stop it? You just push in your clutch and hit your brake. Push your clutch in. Push it in. Woo, good. That's good. Go again? Now, what do I do again? Let, let go. your clutch out and, and give it some gas. You gotta let it out nice and easy. Sorry. I'm going in. Okay, now what do I what I stop it? When you stop it, <laughs> your clutch is your first friend. All the time, clutch it. No, keep your foot off the clutch when you're driving. Dad, keep your foot off it. When you're ready to stop it, push your clutch in and then hit your brake. You can go faster if you want with your gas pedal. That's top speed. Well, you're gonna stop when your when your trailer is close to there, to your pie. I'm not the tractor. <laughs> All right, clutch, Daddy, Daddy, clutch in, clutch Daddy. in. Pay attention, clutch in. Put your foot on the brake. Put your gear in neutral there. How do I put it in neutral? Just push it down push it. in this center part here. Because when you feel okay, see that's neutral. Now, if you take your foot off the clutch, how's it feel? Take your foot off. And the brake? Just take your foot off the clutch and you'll know if it's in neutral or not. We're in neutral. Okay, so what you do, shut your machine off and now, now you can fill up your machine. That's your first lesson. Woo! Awesome. Have first you ever drove a standard shift line? That's first time. I mean, I have. Oh, um, okay. Awesome. No. Good job, Dad. Thanks. Oh. Lesson learned. Oh, I think I'm shut. I got it. Paul. One more time. Give one more tug. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> if I fall, I don't want to land in these two things. <laughs> we'll help you. Yeah, pick all the blisters out of my butt. <laughs> Look, she got it. I come to help her, and now she sees. Oh, it's dad. just because Dad showed up. She's trying to impress my dad. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at these trees. Uh -oh. Okay. What kind of gas? Diesel. Diesel. Okay. What was your first company you ever owned? Stack Oil Service. You want a picture of it? Yeah, I will. I'm going to show a picture of my dad when he first bought his company in his first oil truck. Or no, you started it. You bought your first oil truck, right? Mm -hmm. So check out this photo now. Okay hey guys, so I'm just gonna give you an update on the property, what's been going on, and what we have done. My dad trimmed this bush down, a sable palm, and I really don't like it, but he's like, it'll grow back to be really pretty. So we're gonna keep it for now, and then if we come this way, we actually have a lot of tree work getting done tomorrow, and we put down a little tree that was underneath the barn over there, and if we walk this way, I'll show you where it's at. And in front of us, we have our big bonfire pit that's gonna stay there so we'll burn branches and sticks. And believe it or not, my dad is told me that he is going to concrete the barn for me. So he's, he considers himself the concrete fairy. That's a nice gift from him. And it's a really big barn. It is about 50 feet by 40 feet. 
which is going to be really nice to have my own horse in the back. And we have the back fence being worked on right now, which is about 500 feet that needs to be pushed up because it was has fallen down and hasn't been tended to in the last couple of years. So we are fixing it right now. And I will show you guys it. Me and Dad are walking to the back fence to see what it's like. Say hi, Dad. Dad has been here and like literally running and gunning with all the workers and getting everyone working around here so we can move in already. Back here is the back fence line and Matt has been working on that. Wow, look at this, how crazy. And you know what's crazy about this property? Behind here is a nursery, an old nursery. So let me just walk back here and you guys can see how spooky it is. And whoops. This is the reason why we're having the fence put back up because God forbid the horses came back here and got stuck. And look how this is left. Believe it or not, my dad's trying to pick up this property so we can have more acreage, but it is a mess right now. And look at the fence line, it's getting pulled up. That's doing amazing. We're gonna walk this fence line and show I'm going to add no climb fence here because my horse Ranger likes to stick his foot in these little holes and gets caught, but I'm so excited. It's getting done. So like in the next couple days, my horses are gonna be able to come back here and have another six acres to roam around. And hopefully I will be moving into this house here soon because we have a lot of work getting done to it. I'm gonna show you guys something really cool on the property right now. It's kind of scary, not scary, but we, have a fox den on the property. So let me take you guys to it. Over here is the fox den. And this is in my property. I've talked about it before, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't want to hurt the foxes, but how big is this? It's massive. And look, it, they're pretty active going in and out of over here. And we see them on the farm. So check it out. It's pretty big. I don't know if I'm gonna fence it off, what I'm gonna do, but I definitely wanna relocate the foxes so they stop killing the bunnies and they can live in not a horse pasture because I feel like this is dangerous for my horses as well because God forbid my horse walked in this, it would snap its leg. But look at their little paw prints, how cute. And like, I wanna get a scope or like a telephone, something to go in there and stick my phone and camera down there because how cool would that be to see what it looks like in a fox den. I'm so excited because tomorrow the tree guy comes and all these tree branches and all this debris is gonna be put over there in the fire pit and then imagine all these trees lifted up the limbs so none of them fall on the horses or fall on the property anymore and we can drive through and just be able to see the property and have a clear view of it because it is really shaded and beautiful but that tree limb is gonna de definitely go that one, some of the trees that are dead are gonna be taken down as well. I'm taking a video, guys, to show before. So this is almost in the back right corner of my property. And all this debris is gonna be put over in the fire that I just showed you guys. But look at the back of the barn, how cute it is. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of it because imagine this all concreted. And then I'm gonna make two stalls over here and leave this open for the horses to come in and out because I want to take my time with decorating the barn, but he left a lot of stuff here. We're going to try to get this lawnmower fixed up and running, but we have a bush hog, a lot more fencing, and just a lot of stuff here. But this barn is massive. It's much bigger than my other barn. Not by much, but the center aisle is huge. And it has a lot of cool stuff in it. It's a very cool barn. So there's a lot to do with it, but I'm going to add two stalls over here on this side for sure. I'm really excited about it. There's a lot of work going on. And do you guys remember my little kicking pathway? I had to kick to get through here. It's cut through. So we can walk through without getting our eyes poked out. And it walks right to my backyard. But I'm so excited. I love seeing progress. This guy never stops working. I tell him, I'm like, Dad, I'm not leaving till you leave with me. He's like, I gotta take out a couple more trees. He put this whole fence line up. Now look at him. Now look at him. Dad. Oh my gosh. That is my dad. Burn pile 
Bell's getting bigger. More work's getting done. Here comes the tree, guys. That's all cleared down from the tiny or the little shed. I had to pressure wash that still. But guys, we're making progress. Look how big this fire pit is too. It's massive. We cut these crepe myrtles down. Dad's cutting these. The driveway, we can see it. We still have the fire going. The driveway though, well, like the, the concrete, whatever asphalt, I don't even know what this is called. But you can drive underneath it. No trees hit your vehicle. Look how like, oh my God, I'm like speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you the final tour of what we got done. So as you guys can see, we have all the trees lifted up so we can drive through and not get our vehicle scratched. And if we walk this way, I will show you the rest of the progress. A little drive-by video. So remember all those ugly bushes, they're taken away. And then let's drive to the back fence. Big bonfire. Barn's getting cleaned up. Yeah. Look at the new fence in the back for the horses. Yay! Yeah, Dad put down all these trees back here. underneath the barn is getting so cleared that is our next project but we're just chipping away at it and I have my dogs here to show them the property because it's super exciting and they love it which I'm really excited about but let's go check out this fence line all right so we're at the back right corner of the property or actually it's the back left corner but over here we finally have the fence all lifted up we have new fencing no climb fence so my goats can wander back here but if you guys remember my last couple videos and I did the video expanding the farm to over there, we own that property. So we're actually gonna have a fence line that connects from here to there. So pretty much my house, the rental property and the farm will all connect. If you guys liked this video, stay tuned for the next progress video because we are starting on inside the house again this week and it's going to be really exciting and a huge transformation. And like I said, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that post notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video.